I am so thankful for this opportunity to uh, talk to you a bit about where I am in terms of my health. Uh, we just crossed over the border of four months since I first went to Jefferson Hospital. Uh, I am an incredibly blessed man in the midst of all of what I faced. Uh, I've had surgery since, and so uh, the, the cause of all of my difficulties have been removed. Uh, the result is, as I mentioned before, that I'm left with uh, significant damage to my kidneys. I have my diagnosis is stage three kidney disease uh, from which I, I will not recover. This doesn't mean that I need dialysis or anything like that. It just means I need to be very careful. I need to s stay within my limits and I won't be able to do ministry in the ways that I've done it before. Now there's a couple things that this leaves me with. One, is an incredible thankfulness for the love of the body of Christ. Uh, the numbers of people who have been in contact with me in some way and encouraged me uh, with the gospel of Jesus Christ has been so sweet and so beautiful. The numbers of you who have been so generous in giving to this ministry in ways that en have enabled the physical uh, disaster not to result in ministry disaster. And we are very, very thankful. I can't tell you how thankful I am for your love, your concern, and your generosity. Where does that leave us in terms of, of ministry? Well, there's one way we will still need uh, the love and the generosity of the body of Christ because I won't be able to do ministry the way I've done it in the past and there's going to be a transition period where uh, we're going to still face uh, financial need. But out of this has been born two things. One is... I have a deeper appreciation for the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ right here, right now, than I have ever had in my life. You know, when, when physical strength, physical health, physical self-sufficiency is taken away from you, you run to the things that can't be taken away from you. You can take my physical strength, but you can't, can't take grace from me. You can't take new mercies from me. You can't take Jesus from me. And I have a deeper love of and a deeper appreciation for what I've been given in Christ than ever before. There's another thing that's happened. I have a renewed vision, a clearer new vision for ministry, a passion for ministry than I've ever had before. Uh, you're going to he be hearing from us about some new ways that we're going to work to bring the gospel of Jesus Christ right to where you are in new, fresh, exciting ways. And here's how I think about all of this. That if what it took to birth in me a deeper appreciation of the gospel and a new vision for ministry is stage three kidney disease Then I'm willing. Because I know this, I'm gonna chuck this body someday and get a new one. And if God in his wisdom, knowing the hardness of my heart, knew that this is the pathway to get me to where he wants me to be, then that's grace. And I can say 
I would not like to go through what I've gone through again. But I am thankful for what I've been given in the midst of it. I'm thankful for God's grace. And if this is what it takes for the Savior to do what is necessary in my heart, then bring it on. I'm willing. Uh, God bless you. God bless your lives and your ministries. And may you remember that nothing in all of life, not even death, can separate you from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. That's worth getting up in the morning for. Blessings.